flies, absolutely flies. I, I, I don't know where the time's gone. I'm looking at all the, the kind of younger guys now, and I know Tres said to me a little while ago he made his debut before some of these guys were born. And um, you know, I'm not old. I'm middle aged in terms of cricket, but yeah, you certainly look at these whippersnappers now coming around in the years they were born, and you start thinking, oh, I've, I've been around a little while now. So yeah, yeah, but it's good. I, I love it. Um, it's flying, but that's because I've, I've really enjoyed everything about it. After Christmas, you really kind of hit the ground with all your skills and everything like that. So um, it's a really kind of exciting time. I'm looking forward to, to going away pre-season and we go on a little tour. So um, it's exciting every year for, for different challenges. There's different people coming in all the time, and different players and playing against different people. Um, so so the ambition's still there to obviously win a trophy. Um, you, you go into that, that every year, but it's exciting because of the different challenges you'll probably face. actually playing a fair bit of 2020 cricket there's not too many times when I'm standing at the, at the other end feeling in danger and when Chris was batting I was genuinely a little bit frightened thinking anything could happen here because he hits the ball harder than I've ever seen anyone hit it. Um, amazing for the club um, it's also the first time that I've played in games where we've lost the game but it's almost as if we've won the World Cup the crowd are going wild Chris is walking off bat in hand helmet off and I'm thinking we just lost that game but he has that effect, he brings people in and, and creates a, a huge buzz around the ground which everyone's looking forward to getting again. I mean, everyone knows Chris and what he's done in, in county cricket and in international cricket recently. So, um, huge asset for us to come in with the, the number of first class runs he's scored and his captaincy experience in other counties. Um, knows county cricket brilliantly well. Um, I'm sure he'll score score a lot of runs at Taunton. Uh, yeah, I think statistically, personally, it was it was the most first class runs I've I've scored in a season, so that was pleasing. Um, you always, I think, one of the box batsmen like to tick boxes, and, and um, one of them was to be uh, leading run scorer in the country for a, for a season, and um, tick that box. It was great to score more runs in than anyone else was something that I've, I've wanted to do in my career so that was that was a that was a plus um, but there was tint there was kind of tinge of disappointment with, with the season really I was pleased with how I went and felt I was I was contributing and scoring some runs but there was always that air of we're, we're fighting off relegation and we should be doing better than we are and so it was bittersweet and I was scoring some runs but I felt like we should have been doing better as a team. The guys at the museum um, keep coming up to me when I've scored some runs. Go, oh, you've moved up from 13th to 14th place in the all-time list, and kind of it's great to hear those things. You don't, it's not a focus going into seasons that you want to be jumping above Viv Richards or it's, you know when when he gets mentioned, it's obviously really pleasing. You think these guys are absolute legends of the club. I think um, if I end up playing for quite a few years, it's probably just the fact that I've been here quite a while that I've been able to accumulate those runs. Well, Viv wasn't here. Um, for that many years, someone like don't know Jimmy Cook was here for a few seasons. They, you know, they're, they're proper players. I think I've just I've been here for a long time. Amazing. I mean, it's it's great. Um, this was obviously um, the old pavilion, and I think it came from the race course or something. And seeing it here, and you were concerned that it might fall down at any point. So it's quite reassuring to be sitting up here, thinking you're pretty safe. Um, but it's great looking around the ground now and, and seeing our oh, Caddy's pavilion go up and the Colin Atkinson pavilion and seeing all the changes and us moving changing rooms. Uh, it's huge. I mean, you, the development of the club is amazing and I've, I'm convinced this is the best county ground in, in the country. I absolutely love playing here. The atmosphere we get is, is incredible with the members coming in and supporting us in Whiteboard Cricket. It's, it's the best atmosphere I play in uh, from a county ground all over the country easily. Um, so, so it's great work and there's still obviously more work to be done and to push ourselves as, as a county. Um, it's encouraging signs how far we've gone since I've been here, since we were bottom of Division 2 uh, to now competing in the championship and, and trying to strive and keep pushing ourselves forward because I think we punch above our weight as a county. We're the only uh, county ground or county um, that isn't the first uh, test match county in the first division at the moment, all the others are test grounds. 
Um, so I think that's a massive bonus for the club. Um, the members have huge expectations, which is exactly right. Um, but it's just making sure we keep striving to be the best kind of county, county ground and club in the country.